Hello, financial fans. I traded some stocks today. I sold Amazon, A-M-Z-N. At one time, about a week ago, uh, Amazon was uh, about 17% of my portfolio, and that was uh, a little bit too much. I was uh, planning on either selling some of it or all of it, and I decided to sell all of it. And I sold Amazon today, all my holdings in Amazon, for 32.21.99. Uh, so 32.22 is about what I got uh, per share today. And uh, made a very good profit. I, I've actually got some odd tax things coming up when I report this one next year, 2023, when I report my 2022 taxes because of the Amazon here, half of my Amazon holdings will be long-term capital gains. And half of my uh, in income from the sale of Amazon will be, uh, well, it's going to be short-term and it's going to be a capital loss. Doesn't make too much sense, but uh, it'll be interesting to play with the numbers next year and forget about it in the meantime. I bought two stocks. I bought KEY, KEY, and we'll look at the um, Yahoo page on KEY here. This is a banking stock, $26.72 at the time the trading was still going on, $26.72 per share. That's approximately where it uh, landed. I paid $26.67 per share, so I actually made a little bit of a profit on this today by buying it at the time I happened to buy it. And we look at the page in the third item down in the middle column, PE ratio is 10.16, I like that, that's nice to have a low PE ratio, especially banking. Uh, stocks. This is in a good sector, I think, for this year, for the next few months. This uh, stock should have some opportunities to grow in value. I'm not a financial advisor, and any money you invest in stocks, you can lose. And the uh, column on the left, uh, two-thirds of the way down, 52-week range, $17.90 was the low, and $27.17 was the high, so we're pretty near the high there. And the average volume, uh, over 8 million shares trade on an average day. And at the bottom of that column, it says it's undervalued. The experts who look at it think this stock might be headed higher. And I agree. The uh, earnings per share, middle column, fourth item down, $2.63 per share. And a little bit lower, we see the forward dividend and yield. It pays 2.89%, almost 3% is what the... Um, stockholder gets for holding on to the stock and that's 78 cents now if we look at that two dollar 63 cents earnings per share that 78 cents is easy just uh, get it out of the pit of cash drawer and uh, watch the stock go higher they have a one-year target estimate of 28 dollars 22 cents uh, I think uh, it's headed higher than that but we shall see and also uh, my stocks now, I'm, I think about 6% is as much of my portfolio as I have in any one of my stocks. And I have about 70 different stocks that I'm tracking and uh, that I've purchased and that I'm holding on to right at this moment. Here's the other stock I bought today, Workhorse, WKHS. Uh, had a very good day. Uh, over 20 cents per share, $3.49, uh, about a uh, $3.5 stock, and it's up 6.37% uh, for the day. Now, Workhorse, uh, that's been my worst performing stock, but I bought more of it because I think it's going to be a turnaround story sometime, maybe take a couple of years, but I think this is going to do well. And I have somewhere between 1% and 2% of my portfolio in it, so even if it goes bust, I'm not out a whole lot. But I think Workhorse, uh, they make electric trucks. They had a, uh, a near contract. They were in the uh, bidding pool for a contract for uh, trucks for the post office. They make electric vehicles. 
And I think every vehicle they sent out, they did recall for one reason or another. But uh, Workhorse, what I've read about it, I like. And the three and a half dollar stock probably wouldn't hurt to have that in my portfolio. Certainly the one year target estimate at the bottom of the middle column. Seven dollars, 36 cents. That would be very nice if that uh, did occur. Let's go back and look at the numbers of Amazon. Now this is a stock that I sold today. I did not buy this. This probably will keep going up for a while. Amazon is a company that has amazing amounts of money changing hands every day. It sells lots of products and it makes a lot of money. And the P.E. ratio is a little bit too high for me right now. I'm going to stay away from it till the P.E. ratio gets down. Then I might buy it again sometime. Uh, P.E. ratio 49.71. Uh, no dividend at Amazon and the one-year target. They think it's going to go up uh, a lot to $4,105.92. Uh, it certainly could happen. But anyway, with that uh, said, that is what is going on in my world of finance. And I hope you are making big profits there, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, whatever you're investing in. And I thank you very much for watching.